If you or someone you know is feeling under the weather this Thanksgiving, the doctors have a message for you. Stay home. And they say that children and seniors are especially at risk for RSV. People are already heading out to get their Thanksgiving holiday started. Dr. Scott Robertson, the CEO of Pacific Central Coast Health Centers, says with more families already feeling under the weather, even more could be at risk after exposure to loved ones. If you're having a runny nose, sore throat, it doesn't mean that you have to go to the hospital or have to get tested, uh, but it is best to, to, to maybe sit home uh, and, and have, have some folks bring you some food and you can, you can watch football uh, in, in, in the quiet environment of your own house. RSV, COVID, the flu, and other common viruses share some common symptoms. Doctors say RSV can include severe symptoms that can last longer, like coughing or difficulty breathing. The ones who are really at highest risk are really small kids under five and the elderly. You know, those both ends of the spectrum get the most severe symptoms from RSV. Most people with RSV will not seek medical help meaning the case rate is likely even higher since it's not something county health departments can easily track. New mom Kylie Wiseman says that RSV is always in the back of her mind. Honestly, just trying to, you know, not travel as much as possible. Um, he had his one-year checkup or nine-month checkup um, fairly recently, so that kind of perfect timing. But we're just kind of staying home, mellow. Not too many crazy plans. If anybody is immune compromised, they wear a mask and we try and just keep our little ones um, not too close. Dr. Ansorg says some of the best ways to protect your loved ones is to practice common sense hygiene measures, including coughing or sneezing into your elbow, washing your hands frequently, especially if you have any of these symptoms, and wearing masks. If they're no longer symptomatic, if they at least have had no fever for 48 hours without taking fever reducing medications, then they're fine to go. According to the San Luis Obispo County Department of Public Health, they are seeing an increase in RSV earlier in the year and more severe than usual, and say hospitals are seeing the strain. At Sierra Vista Regional Medical Center, pediatric doctors say most of their RSV patients are children. Typically around this year, they see one RSV patient. Now they're averaging eight patients a day. The vast majority of cases are going to be self-limiting, meaning they're going to get better on their own. At Sierra Vista, they converted their second ICU into an RSV-specific ICU in an effort to accept transfers. In the newsroom, Erin Fay, KSBY News.